Today we're going to be talking about why your mindset is one of the most important things that you can focus on every single day. Now, if you want to learn how to master your mindset, I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because if you can master your mind, you can master the external world. Now, it's very important for you to realize this phrase, right? When they say an airplane is going down, they're going through the safety check. They say before you put the, max, the oxygen mask on anybody else, make sure that you put the mask on yourself because you have the mask on yourself, you can help everybody else around you. That's how working on your mindset is. A lot of times we don't focus on ourselves. We don't focus on reading. We don't focus on personal growth. But then we don't realize that the better that we are as humans up here in our minds, the better that everything else around us will be, the better that everybody else who comes in contact with us, their lives will be. So when I say mastering your mind is everything, we're all focused on the external world. We're focused on making the external world as perfect as possible, right? Making sure that we're safe, making sure that our children are safe, making sure that we have everything that we need to, and we're all focused on the external world, but we have it wrong. We shouldn't be focusing on the external world. We should be focusing on our internal worlds. If we focus on ourselves internally, the external world will automatically fall in place. There's so many people that are stressed out. There's so many people that are unhappy. There's so many people that are not fulfilled with their lives because they have been constantly, their entire lives, focusing on making everything on the outside as perfect as they possibly can, not realizing that what they needed to do and what they need to do as well is focus on making their minds better. They need to work on the internal. Everything that happens in this world around you starts with a thought. All of your thoughts, all of your feelings, all of your emotions, all of your words, your movement, every single thing that you do starts with a thought. And if you don't focus on the starting point of everything around you and you focus on what else is happening, you're not going to be as successful or happy as fulfilled as you want to. The way I like to think of it is this. If there's a sprinter, if you watch the sprinters who are in the Olympics, to not focus on your mindset, the very beginning of what you're doing is like a sprinter not having the blocks correctly set up for them at the starting gates. The most important part of a sprinter sprint, if they, walk, if they run 100 yards, the most important part of it is the start, right? It's the blocks. Do you see how much time? They spend more time getting themselves into those two blocks and making sure their feet are perfect, then making sure, you know, they do the little thing where they have their hands right up to the line and they put it just up to the line, just perfectly, and they make sure they're all situated. They spend so much time making sure that they're just in the right position. They spend more time making sure that they're in the right position than they actually do running the race. Imagine if one of these sprinters didn't have the blocks in front and they were running just without the blocks and everybody else in the race had the blocks. You'd be like, yeah, that person's at a disadvantage, right? When everyone around you, if there's a bunch of people around you that are focused on personal growth and growing themselves in their mindset, but you're not, I would say that you're at a disadvantage from them, right? We all know people who seem like they have it together. They, they, they're happy, they walk into a room, they've got some confidence, they've got swagger, they've got something about them that is just, you don't know what it is. You can't really put it into words, right? I would guarantee that person works on themselves. We also know people who walk in the room and you're like, man, talking to that person for five minutes, you're like, they do not have it together, right? There is just something wrong with that person. I would venture to say that that person probably doesn't work on themselves too much. The person who is the most improved is usually the person who spends the most time on themselves. And there's a really good quote I think it's by Jim Rohn, and he says, your bank account will seldom pass your level of personal development, right? So a lot of people are focused on making money, but what they should realize is that money, it should not be the focus. Growth should be the focus, right? Here's the reason why I say that. Because the better that you become, the more money you make. And the reason why is because money should not be a destination. That's how most people treat it. 
Money is what people focus on. Money is not a destination. Money is a byproduct of the value that you give the world. And you can give more value if you are better. And that is why it's so important to focus on personal development, so important to focus on yourself, and so important into making sure that you become better every single day, right? Your bank account will seldom surpass your level of personal development. So if you're a visual person, you could think, okay, if, if, if my, my personal development account, quote unquote, is raising, then my bank account will start raising as well. But the bank account will never pass that personal development account. But the more that I work on myself and my personal development and my mindset, the more my bank account will grow. Your bank account will never catch up to your personal development account, but it will follow it perfectly. If you grow in your personal development account, you're definitely gonna grow in your bank account. And that's the problem. That's why so many people cannot make money. And the reason why is because they make money their destination. Money's not the destination. Money is a byproduct of the value that you give the world. The people who are paid the most. Like for instance, it, it's, it kind of drives me crazy when people are like, man, CEOs are paid way too much money. Okay, well, you have to realize they're paid based on how much, they don't make that much money salary-wise. They make money a percentage of how much they grow the company, right? So you could have worker A and they're like, man, worker A, they just, they don't make as much money as the CEO does. Well, how much value does that worker bring to the company compared to the CEO? Because they're not paid based on anything else except for how much value they bring. If the CEO, you know, if a company goes from $10 billion in sales to $20 billion in sales because they brought on a new CEO, guess what? That CEO is gonna be paid a crap ton of money because they're paid on growth. They're paid based on how much value they bring to the company, right? You are paid based on how much value you bring the world. The most successful people in the world are the ones who bring the most value. Some people say the exact same thing for like, oh, LeBron James should not be paid as much as he's paid. Okay, well, you know, LeBron James has basically been obsessed with doing one thing and one thing only for the past 34 years of his life. Have you been obsessed with anything for the past 34 years? You have to realize when he goes and actually plays a game, he was the number one thing that happened to the Cleveland economy when he came back from Miami. He boosted their economy just by him coming back. All of the bars that were around in Cleveland made more money because people went out to bars to go watch the games. That's value that he brought the bars. All of the places that were sem selling the memorabilia made more money. That's value because people were buying the memorabilia now. People started going to the games. That's value that he brought to the Cleveland Cavaliers because he brought more people to the game. He was paid 25 or $30 million because of the fact that he brought in over a billion to $2 billion worth of more money to the Cleveland economy. Do you see what I'm saying? We're paid based on how much value we bring. So if you want to make more money, focus on improving yourself. Focus on working on yourself. Focus on your mindset. Focus on your personal development because that is the most important thing that you can bring to the table. The most important thing that you can bring to the world is the perfect version of you. So wake up every single morning and work on that perfect version of you. So if you like this video, like I said, I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Hit the subscribe button that is right here so that you never miss another episode. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I want to answer any of your questions. I try to get to them as much as I can, but I'll talk to you guys in the next video.